Hey guys, welcome back to another review. And today, ignore my trash can uh, and my pop pop cases. I uh, need to figure out a way to review. So right now, I'm using a TV table. So yeah, today's review is the NECA Halloween 2018 uh, Ultimate Michael Myers. This figure I've already had in my collection before, but recently I moved, not recently, but last year in August, I moved to this house I am in now. So, and a bunch of my stuff, well, a bunch of my naked figures, uh, with the boxes either destroyed in the move or destroyed before it. So, I've recently picked this up at my local collectible store. So we're gonna have a look at it today. The box is very simple. Uh, it's got a nice poster art of the Halloween uh, 40 years later uh, or Halloween 2018 uh, poster art on the front. It's got Halloween uh, Ultimate Michael Myers written on the bottom. And right here we got a includes light up flickering pumpkin, which is very nice. The side says Halloween uh, and NECA Real Toys. And it's got a very nice picture, same picture as the front of Michael Myers. Top, same, but it's got a warning, uh, choking hazard, ages 17 and up. Other side is the exact same as the other side. And then the bottom's got the credits, how to work, put batteries in the pumpkin and NECA Real Toys. QR code. The back. The back's got some real nice pictures of the figure and really cool situations. Um, same as the um, the pumpkin and slide up features. And at the bottom it reads, it's been 40 years since Lori Strode survived a vicious attack from crazed killer Michael Myers on Halloween night. She now faces a new terror showdown when Michael returns to Haddonfield. And it's got three. But this time, Lori is ready for him. Includes knife, hammer, fire poker, tombstone, victim head, light up pumpkin, which are interchangeable head and hands. Uh, in the front, it's got this very nice rel uh, open piece, which has a really nice picture of Michael, the Michael Myers figure and the other side has a window of the figure itself. Sorry for the glare of my light. But you can see the alternate head, the knives, the hammer and the fire poker, tombstone, the interchangeable hands, the pumpkin and the severed head. So I'm going to take this out of the box and set everything up and we'll get to the review. Okay, so I've taken the figure out of the box, took its accessories out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. We're gonna start off with the fire poker. The fire poker has a real nice uh, metal paint up airbrush strokes. Um, and it looks really nice. It is a flimsy plastic, so it's, it's very light. Um, but there's no blood on it, so it just kind of surprises me. But it's also still a very good fire poker. Next, we got his little hammer. This hammer is very bloody. The paint up on the hammer is real nice. Don't know how well you guys can see that, but the the wood paint up to the handle. Real nice hammer. The next, his very very clean knife. 
Um, this is based off the J.A. Hingles knife, I think. Uh, that they used for Halloween 2018. The paint up on the knife, the blade itself, is very good. Sadly, there's no blood to it, but it's whatever. The handle looks really good. Overall, this blade, this knife is very, very cool in itself. Now, we're going to take a look at his hands that comes with the figure. Now, the hands are painted very well. This one is an open palm, relaxed kind of hand. Well, open, uh, kind of like, like, gestured hand that kind of looks very good with the paint application. It's got some blood, blood weathering on the hand, which is very cool. The wrinkles in his in his palm area is, is it's detailed really nice. Then we got a uh, left hand, uh, well, right hand closed fist. Uh, I'm guessing to hold the knife. You don't want to put too much of press, pressure on it. So you wanna, it, it, it's a snug fit. That's just me, like, you gotta pry the finger. Not too much pressure. You wanna, cause these uh, knives can break really easily. I've had this happen to me before. So there you go. This is the knife holding hand. And it looks really good. The The paint application for the blood is very nice. Like, look at, like, we're gonna take the, the knife out of the hand, if we can. Okay. There's the knife and the knife holding hand. And then this one is another closed fist another holding hand whatever you want to use it for you can use it with the hammer whatever and now my favorite my personal favorite the shotgun blast hand and the gore on this hand is just phenomenal just look at that detail in the muscle flesh tendons on the the, the shotgun blast just looks very good it looks really good and the blood, this is after Lloyd Strode uh, shoots Michael in the hand and blows his ring and pinky finger off with the shotgun. Okay, now let's take a look at the Officer Francis head, severed head. Now the severed head um, looks really good. The paint application on the head is very nice. Like you, like it looks like this is phenomenal. Just look at that detail and the face sculpt and the in, under like the inside of the neck. Cut. Oh my god, gruesome! And the paint application on the hair is very nice. And it, it's like a pla plasticky, so it's kind of, but you don't want to mess with it too much. Looks really good. Now we're going to take a look at the alternate head sculpt. Um, the head sculpt on this one is, is very, very cool. You can kind of see its eyes but not really they're still kind of black blacked out but you can kind of see the glare the hell it's very nice 
now we're going to look at the pumpkin. Uh, still got the the little tag. You just take that out to use the pump the light up simulation. But yeah, the pumpkin looks very really good. The, the detail on the pumpkin, they did such a good job on the weathering on the pumpkin. Even the stem looks very good. Uh, to use the light up feature, you gotta do is just push the stem down. And you can kind of see it. I hate the fact that you can see it through the nose. But yeah. It's very cool. Now. Shoot. As I drop everything. Now we got the tombstone. Now the tombstone. Is weathered very nicely. Very nice. It's got uh, the uh, Judith Myers, our beloved daughter, born November 10th, 1947, died October 31st, 1963. And the detail on the tombstone is just very nice. The tombstone itself is just oddly clean. Um, you would think that there's some gunk and dirt on the bottom of the tombstone but there ain't and the tombstone itself has got like this very weird uh texture but and the back is just bland like we hear bush ducks here and there but it's just oddly bland but yeah thin too still pretty good uh all right let's take a look at the figure itself now the paint application on the figure is very nice. The cover walls, like, got some detail in them. Like, uh, you, it looks like you got like a shot, uh, a gunshot wound right there. The hands on this figure, he's got a relaxed, open hand, right, left hand. Um, the detail on the hands are really good. But yeah. And then the relaxed, kind of, kind of more closed, left hand, right hand, and the detail on these hands are very good. The articulation in the hand wrist areas are kind of tight, kind of like you know, and the this, uh, and the arms very tight articulation, but they still they do move. Uh, and it's got a double jointed elbow, so you can have the the, the mic figure hold his knife up like th like this and down. You know the famous Michael hand knife holding technique. The figure itself and the boots, the boots look very nice. It's got some nice uh, weather to them. Uh, the back of the figure. It's very nice. Um, the head sculpt on the head on the figure itself, uh, you can blankly see his eyes. Um, got the nice dead eye, which is lo which just looks phenomenal. Um, and the other eye. The articulation on the head, very nice. And it's even got the, the neck puncture wound from the 1978 Michael, when Lori punctures him in the neck with a needle, yawning needle. Um, it's got the little blue t-shirt, under t-shirt. Overall, the figure is really nice. One thing I had uh, trouble with the, um, putting the figure down, setting the figure down before I clicked record on this video, that is that it couldn't. I struggled to get it to stand up, which is very difficult on a figure 
a lot of times you just struggle to get them to stand because the legs, the feet are stiff. Like the, the feet have no articulation to go up or down, probably because of the coveralls, but it's like, it was very hard to get it to stand up by itself. See, like, look. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.